Hey y'all, Vaughn Twins here. here. I'm Kiana. And I'm Kenya. And we're back with another video. Uh, we want to say thank you all so much for tuning in to our channel and clicking on this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Yeah, we really man. appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, Kenya and I are so appreciative of you yeah. guys. Thank you for being here and supporting us. Kenya and I would truly, truly love it if you all were to click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. Yeah. And also, click, click the, the bell, bell. <laughs> to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Because yes. y'all don't want to miss the future videos That's that right. are going to come out. <laughs> so today Kenya and I are doing a follow-up video mm -hmm. on the Fenty First Impressions Beauty video that we did last, last week. week. Right. Kenya and I have had an opportunity to wear these products throughout the entire day. We've mm -hmm. actually worn them all week and so we're here to give you all our final, final thoughts. thoughts. We want to talk about the wearability of it all. Again, we've had these products on from sun up to sundown. Yeah. We've also worn them to work and just throughout the week. And so again, we're here to tell you all our final thoughts mm -hmm. on how this product affected our face being that we have dry, dry skin. skin and I have large pores. Can you don't have large pores? I have large okay. pores, y'all. I promise. Hashtag blessed. I deal Virginia. with large pores. <laughs> <laughs> I have large pores though. <laughs> don't believe her. <laughs> oh, so man. anyway, yeah. So if you all are interested, then let's get it. Let's go. Okay guys, to start, I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the primer. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. This is it right here. The bottle is beautiful. Um, now, what I anticipated and expected to get out of this product was that it was going to fill in my large pores because unlike what my sister says, I she do have, have large them. pores, y'all. <laughs> so I expected it to fill in and blur, blur them out. I also expected for this to blur out the texture that's on my face. However, I was a little disappointed, I have to say, because I don't feel like it did that. At the end of the night, um, well, I'll say initially when I applied the makeup, it looked as though that's what it was doing. Yeah. But at the end of the night, you can see every bump and <laughs> every, every blemish, every blemish every, like every, every pimple, every, everything on my face. So with this being a matte primer and with it saying that it's pro filter, I just kind of expected for it to fill in any type of blemish or any type of um, large pores or whatnot that I have. And I feel like it did not do that. So a little disappointed with the pro matte filter. This is probably something that I will not buy again. Unfortunately, so my take on the primer is that I, I liked it. So okay, I'll just I'll just say this. Off jump, I 100% agree with everything that Kenya's saying regarding this primer. However, there were things about it that I did like. I did like the fact that it's very light. It goes on really silky smooth, and initially it seems to blur out you know, some of those large pores or right. fine lines and things mm -hmm. like that. It's very, very light. I can truly appreciate that. But much like what Kenya said, you know, toward the end of the night or maybe even within about, I'd say three hours yeah. from me, mm -hmm. you could see everything. Yeah. Just like Kenya said, it did not aid in making sure that everything was burned out throughout the entire day. Right. It gave you about a three hour wear. Yeah. Okay, okay moving on to foundation. This is the foundation that we have here. I am in the color 390. And I'm in the color 380. Yeah, so I really like the foundation. I think Kenya and I both agree in saying that it goes on really smooth. It does, yeah. Really silky, uh, smooth finish, much mm -hmm. like the primer. Yeah. However, <laughs> okay, Kenya and I have on all of the fancy products right now. Right. So, the products did oxidize. A little bit. Yeah. But if you all can tell, it's still not our color. Color. It's not our perfect match. Yeah. So that's our gripe. That's the first gripe. The second gripe is, y'all, you can see everything on our faces. <laughs> all of the texture, fine lines, pores. We don't feel like this foundation is good for you if you have textured skin. That, yeah, unfortunately, I have to agree with Kiana. I if you have perfect agree. skin, you good to go. Perfect, yeah. But very little people on this earth have, have perfect, perfect skin. skin. <laughs> yeah, I think she already said it. My gripe is that I, there was not a color that I was able to find yeah. that matched my skin tone. I, mean, I think that she did really well with the shades that she released. She released. 40 shades y'all like that is phenomenal and it really really is for someone that's releasing a makeup line for, for the, the first, first time, time like that's 
Man, like she did kudos to you. But unfortunately, there just wasn't one that matched my exact skin tone. And I mean, I'm okay with that because sometimes you I get mixed. darker in the summer, yeah. I get lighter in the winter. So yeah, and like and then sometimes, sometimes you have to mix. mix. Yeah. yeah. But we don't oh, want to yeah. do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to spend that much. Yep. <laughs> All right, so moving right on to the concealer. This is the concealer right here. King and I are both in the color latte. Mm -hmm. I love the concealer. To be quite honest, me too. I have no complaints about it. What me about either. you? No complaints. No complaints. Yeah, it goes on really smooth, silky again. It yeah. is a cream-based product. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you get enough product in here. And like so you said, this is how much. If I pull it all the way up, this is how much you get. And it may not seem like a lot, but it's thick. but it is because it's thick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it covers a good amount of your face underneath the eyes, or also if you wanted to put it. Thank you. If, if you wanted to put it at the bridge of your nose or something like that, or if you wanted to highlight up here, mm -hmm. it covers a good amount. I, I, I have no complaints about this. It goes on so smooth and silky, and it blends amazingly Perfectly. well. Good it's job, so Rihanna. Creamy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So moving right along to the contour stick, Kenya and I both are in the color Truffle. Truffle. This is it right here, and this is the color here. I love it. It's creamy. We blend, we put it on right here and right here, and I put a little bit on my forehead today. I don't know if you all can tell. Yeah. That's the only place that I put it, and honestly, I put it on my forehead because I just wanted to make the actual foundation just a little bit darker. Yeah. Since it's a bit too light for my complexion. That's the only reason why I put it on. Some people do it to make their forehead look smaller. That's yeah. not why I do it. I don't feel like I have a big forehead, and I need to <laughs> contour my forehead. Yeah. Um, but I do, Kenya and I do do it because we want our cheekbones to pop. Even though this one right here don't need no help with her cheekbones popping. Oh my popping. gosh, we're twins, y'all. <laughs> we both don't need no help. <laughs> Kenya's cheekbones be like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Kenya's cheekbones just sit up there. And hers don't? No, I mean, they don't. Do we not have the same face? Kenya got bomb Guys. cheekbones, y'all. Guys. Bomb cheekbones. Guys. I gotta do a little bit of work, though. Lies. Lies. <laughs> Lies. We both got the same cheekbones. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Anyway, <laughs> so we both really love this product, and I would repurchase the the truffle. Truffle contour stick. Yep. I would as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, moving on to the cream. Highlighter. Did y'all hear it? I know, right? Somebody, somebody else at the window. Who's that peeping on my window? Pow, nobody now. <laughs> y'all don't remember that. Y'all too young. Y'all too young. <laughs> So going back to the highlighter stick, we both yeah. got the color rum. This is it right here. It's a really pretty gold mm, it's color. Gorgeous. And it's very gorgeous. And again, Kenya and I both have it on today. We do. We have it right here, right here, and then we have just a little bit. Well, I have a little bit on my forehead. I don't know yeah. if you have any. I didn't put any up there. Yeah. So I, I did put it on my lids though, guys, as an eyeshadow. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty too. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, I love this. I mean, it's nice and creamy. It blends very nicely. This, I would repurchase again. I would definitely would repurchase that, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, I also wanted to just touch on the highlight. This one is uh, Trophy <laughs> Wife, and this is the one that everybody went crazy it's over. Bomb. This is actually what Rihanna had on when she launched, well, she had a, um, a beauty event for all of like the bloggers and vloggers and stuff like that, and this is what she had on. She had on yellow, and it complemented the trophy wipe that she had on her, you know, the high points of her cheeks, mm -hmm. and also on her eyes. Well, this is it. This, guys, I would definitely purchase again. A little bit goes a very, very, oh, very long gee, way. Yes, it does. So with the highlighters, I feel like you want to make sure that you use it very sparingly, and also, when you dip your brush into the highlight, and get ready to put it on your face, you want to make sure that you are putting your brush exactly where you want the highlight to show up. And the reason, fallout. yep, is because you get major fallout. Mm -hmm. And this is, this pops like no other, and it has like flakes of glitter in it, and so you don't want to end up with like a glitter face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a big yeah. ball of glitter. It's hard to, and it's hard to wipe off too, it, it is, that yeah, after it falls out. So, but this is gorgeous. It's unlike anything I have ever seen on the planet as far as beauty products yeah. are concerned. That's a must keep. Like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody else has come up with a highlighter that looks like that. No, so. All right, moving on to another highlighter. Well, this is actually the Kilowatt, and it's a dual 
highlighter and blush this is in the color ginger binge and moscow mule this is what it looks like right here now i absolutely love this however i would not repurchase i'm a, I'm a sucker for pinky colors pinky blushes and all that but both of these colors the moscow mule as well as the ginger binge have specks of like uh glitter in them now the ginger binge has more so you can actually use this color right here as an actual highlight while using this as a blush for me i have large pores everything that i use on this accentuated my large pores <laughs> <laughs> for that reason i would not repurchase i am so sorry rihanna but i'm not sorry for my pockets yes. i'm not sorry for my pockets <laughs> moving right along <laughs> Moving right along, we're going to talk about the Universal Blotting Powder. This is what it looks like right here. And I liked, I liked it. I didn't care. Okay, so I'm going to tell you why I didn't care for this. It is a blotting powder. Don't let the ladies in Sephora tell you that you can use this as a setting powder like they told us. Right. It's not a setting powder. It is simply a blotting powder. So we use this on our face, y'all, as both. And when I tell y'all within three hours, we were grease monkeys. Yeah, we were. And we have dry skin, which is crazy. We were grease monkeys. monkeys. So we were like, okay, yeah, that's not a setting powder. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, if you like her products, then I would say use it with a setting powder, like the Laura Mercier setting powder or something like that. And, and then, then just take that just with you on the go. Exactly. Yeah. To use just as a blotting powder. But I do like it because it is very much fine milled. I just wouldn't use it as a setting powder. Right. And it, the crazy thing is, it don't say, it says blotting powder. <laughs> I mean, so anyway, we hope you all enjoyed this video and that you all have enjoyed our final review mm -hmm. on the Rihanna products. Yeah. Again, there are some products that we would keep and some we would just would not. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys have tried her line, make sure that you comment below and let us know what you thought about the products. Um, also, let us know what you thought about your end of the day look when you were wearing the products. Yeah. Like we said, for us, we love the way that the product goes on because it's very creamy. But at mm -hmm. the end of the day, it left us with a lot of texture on our face, our large pores showed, yeah. and we look like grease monkeys. So, yep. you know, it is what it is. We want to know you guys' thoughts. Make sure that you comment below. Yeah. And also, like my sister said at the beginning of the video, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can join the Vaughn Twins family and our journey. We would love to have you. Absolutely love to have you. Yes. Also, make sure that you click the bell so that you are notified whenever we upload a new video. And we just, again, want to thank you guys so much for tuning into our channel. And until next time, y'all, bye. bye.